I'm Carly. I'm Justin. And we're from Coral Moons, and we're going to show you about our 2009 Chevy Express School. Yeah, so we, we bought this up in New Hampshire, and this was kind of a uh, quarantine project. And uh, we wanted to get it because we wanted to travel across the country. And um, eventually, when music came back, we wanted to tour in it. And that was kind of the catalyst for us getting it in the first place. We actually wrote a song called Winnebago, and that song was about getting a Winnebago and traveling the world. And this is this was the second best thing that we could find. <laughs> so uh, we got this particular model because it's a little bit longer than a normal school bus. Usually the mini school buses end at four windows, and we got this one because it has two extra windows, which was perfect for uh, us being able to get all of our gear on the bus. It also has a really large um, handicap door that used to have a lift in it, but we removed that and we used this door to unload and load all of our gear. Yeah, so uh, we, I guess the three of us are kind of the main drivers of the school bus, and uh, what, the big rule is to swing wide when making turns. The second rule is that I drive in the cities <laughs> because <laughs> it's a little sketchy. And I don't drive in the rain. Carly doesn't drive in the rain no or rain. at night. <laughs> I have a lazy eye, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, and we keep it under 75. That is the top speed that it can go, so. <laughs> Which is, is actually pretty good. It gets 14 miles per gallon. And for some reason, the more gear we put in it, the better gas mileage it gets. We're not sure why. Magic. And Kevy sleeps on the bus every night to guard our gear. Mm -hmm. So he is the ultimate bus driver. <laughs> uh, we got our radio. Uh, we have heated mirrors, uh, light controls, some don't work, <laughs> steering wheel. Um, yeah. We have to Lucky Sasquatch. Uh, covers the smells from tour. So this is our super fancy box fan. When we're stuck in traffic in Boston or today like Chicago, we plug it into our cigarette lighter and it gets the breeze going. We also have our handy dandy shop light, which also plugs into the cigarette lighter for load in and load out if it's dark. And here's all of the wires that we tried to take out and this is essential wires for the bus. We used to have a strobe light, a stop sign, an arm in the front that opened, all the you know school bus essentials and we probably got rid of 30 pounds of wires and this is what we have left. <laughs> so everything is labeled which is great. This is dome 53 so these were to our dome lights which went all across which we'll actually reinstall these with better LEDs. Yeah. Um, there was also a strobe light and it was labeled. I think it's red. Just be careful because that's live. Yeah, remember. don't touch that. It's live. <laughs> this is our dog Maggie. This was her first time on the bus. The first time we ever took it camping, we put a, a bed in the back, but we'll show you that later. We've since grown the back a little bit. Uh, well, like the electrical side of things was um, a lot of trial and error where we were kind of just finding loose ends where we were like, okay, so this literally doesn't go anywhere, so let's pull it. And then now, it, now we're at the point where we're trying to figure out um, what stuff works and what stuff is is still not actually going into anywhere and the stuff that's not going anywhere we're just trying to pull to like reduce um like i guess pounds on the bus and then also just me being a musician and obsessed with making sure cables are clean that kind of is uh, a little bit of my um, obsession of making sure cables are nice and organized <laughs> so want to get rid of anything we don't use so uh right now this we it's funny with like we we put this in as like a nice little bench so that people can sit cozy and we actually have a bunch of different seating because when we're on the road for a long period of time we like to kind of like switch it up like some people will stay here all day some people move to the couch so we wanted to have ample space and um seating arrangements so that people could be comfortable on long distances and um this and that have seat belts so everybody can be nice and safe and then our couch is more kind of like a, a hang spot when, you know, when we're not going as far um, because we want to make sure we have seatbelts so everybody's safe on the bus. So when we first got the bus, the floors were completely rusted out. We took all the seats out. It came with 12, 12 seats. So we have since removed the seats and we took out the floors 
and they were all rusted. I actually fell through the floor and had to get a tetanus shot. It was awesome. Uh, yeah, rock and roll, baby. Um, and yeah, so we had to put all new steel floors around, and then we did a layer of floating subfloors with insulation in that, which made the bus a lot quieter, which was really nice for on the road. And then we did our laminate for the first time. This was probably six weeks ago we installed this, and then we built the bench. So yeah, our floor is nice and cozy now. So this is where we store all of our personal stuff. We got some bags, duffels. We have one suitcase that has that's a square, and I think we've decided square suitcases are out and duffel bags are in. Um, this is a, a back support. We lift a lot of gear, and we're getting old, so we need some support for our backs. Um, we also have this beautiful reclaimed drawer here, so we just have some more personal items. We have a lot of shoes. That's a shoe drawer. Yeah. And then underneath the Justin here, we have the same. It fell off while we were driving and we had to ditch it, but rock and roll again. This is where, this is our muffin drawer. Our we're big fans of muffins. Here we have our Coral Moon signs from festivals. We got this one from Levitate this year, 2022, and this one from Levitate 2021. So this area is where we put all our band gear and merch, and um, we, we're trying to organize it in a way so that it's easy to store things up, which we used to put everything on the floor. And when we put everything on the floor, it would go all the way to the front pretty much because we were very unorganized. But we just recently put this um, bench in, which is drilled into the wall. And we had to make this so we could protect the people who are chilling on the couch. But um, yeah, now we have enough room to go up and we can put all of our gear nice and organized and it still have enough room to walk around, which is really, really awesome. The um, the, the catalyst for this was we, we just got an in-ear system this year, which is this monstrosity in the back and it's in this, um, you can kind of see it, but um, it's in a road case and we're, it's our biggest piece of equipment by far, maybe the kick drum, but uh, we had to build this in order to organize our gear around that and be able to have space to put things and make sure everything um, isn't just like flying around the bus because that thing would roll a lot <laughs> while we were driving sometimes. We do have this concept where um, like we're, we're trying to keep the bus modular for um, sometimes uh, we go on just trips and we want to be able to like camp in this as well. So we do have this idea where maybe building like a um, like a platform that maybe attaches to this so we can put an air mattress up here for camping and then we can like continue keeping storage under there but um, for the most part uh, while we're touring on the road this is kind of our setup okay good all right so this is where we keep the essentials uh we're big spindra fans blood orange new flavor best flavor um we also are huge fans of road cucumbers you know you just you just you know <laughs> Like a You're not above this. The road cucumber. <laughs> you gotta stay healthy. We have some eggs. Our apple cider because we're fall bitches. We have some milk. And some coffee. But mainly spindrift and cucumbers. And then here in our bag, we have Wegmans chocolate chip muffins. And some tea. And then just some other snacks. It's also peach season in the Northeast, so we're thriving on that. One day we'll have a cabinet where this can go in and it doesn't slide around while we're driving. But for now, this is what we got. Thank you so much for checking out our Schoolie. You can check us out on Schoolie Musicians on Instagram or you can watch us build out our entire rig. And you can also check us out on CoralMoons.com where we have upcoming tour dates in October in New England with our good friends Coyote Island. And yeah, hit us up on the road.